Sometimes when you're growing plants in pots, they sort of lose their vigor. And that's really because all the nutrients that have been in that compost have literally just been washed away. And now is a perfect time to repot them and actually to break them up sometimes to invigorate them. This is an agapanthus. Now agapanthus do actually like their roots to be constrained and they'll actually flower better for it. But I'm just gonna show you, just to show you how you can put it into another pot and don't be scared about pruning the roots off. So what you need to do, this will be probably quite difficult to get out, is give it a good bash. Oh, there we go, it's come out. And as you can see, there, is, there are a lot of roots. Look at those roots, very, very healthy system. Um, but this is, a strong grower and you can see right in the center here look it's really really woody and really really hard now the only way to get through that is either with a spade by chopping it up or with a sharp knife and what you want to do you just want to go in and just start cutting away it will take a while to actually get through because you can hear it's really woody really really woody Now I'm going to, what I'm going to do, because I want to get them into these yellow pots, initially I'm just going to take a chunk off. Now you're not doing the plant any harm here, because as long as you've got enough roots to go with those leaves, then the plant will still grow away. I think I'm almost there. Let's have a look. Let's go back to this top one. They don't always show this, do they, on telly? To show how difficult it is to cut through things. Maybe we need to just pull that apart now. There we are, look at that. So you can see all of that there. But this is where the goodness is of the plant, really. And you've got all of these roots. Now, in order to get it into this pot, I'm also going to trim the edges. So I'm going to just trim off some of the root length. And don't worry about doing this. It won't do the plant any harm. There are plenty of roots here, plenty of meaty roots, fibrous roots. There's a lot going on. It's not gonna do the plant any harm. And of course, you're gonna put it into some fresh compost, which has got some plant feed in it already, and will feed it for the next few weeks. That will now be big enough to go into this pot. Just put some compost into the bottom, a little bit too much. You want to do it so that the plant is in at the same depth as it was in the other pot, but you want to leave a two centimeter rim around the top to allow for watering. Then you just backfill with nice fresh compost, shaking it down as you do, firm it down. You then give it a really good water, keep it outside, let it grow on, keep your eye on it, and there you go got one plant and from this one big plant I'm probably gonna get six plants out of it okay it might take another couple of years for it to really flower but there you go one plant for free what's better than that